sub. Yeah, it's, uh, someone came to the sub earlier. It's awesome. Yeah, a cute little Etsy sells a lot of really cool emotes for really cheap. Like, real cheap. Etsy is the way to go. If you're someone that just, I'm not, not artistically talented myself, so, uh, yeah, it was, it was worth it. All right, I think he's gonna let us in now. And your friend's hot too. Come in, come in. <laughs> we were just earlier, and he said, he said, we no guys allowed. We don't. The Don's not into men. And then we come back dressed as a woman. And he says, "Damn, you're hot." Two ladies coming through. Ladies. I'll go and let the Don know you're here. Wait here. Don't wander around. They don't want us to accidentally stumble upon their secret sex dungeon. Real fucked up. Now's our chance. Let's find Tifa. She behind this book? <laughs> this book. Closed. Only door open. Long stairway. I don't know what that is for you guys, but um, to me, that is definitely, I don't In between the, I just, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Tifa. Nice to meet you. I'm Mary. Cloud's told me a lot about you. And you are, hey, you're the one with the cloud in the park. Right, with Cloud. Oh. Don't worry, we just met. It's nothing. Ha! The girl's being jelly about it. Nice. What do you mean, don't worry? About what? No. Don't misunderstand. Cloud and I grew up together. Nothing more. See, this is what I kind of told her. Poor Cloud, having to stand here and listen to both of us calling him nothing. Hi, right, Cloud? Cloud? <laughs> Tifa doesn't know that. Oh, my God. He, oh, he in the Wait, before we talk to Tifa, there's an item. Ether. The shame. <laughs> She's so slow. She goes to goes to him so closely and slow. What? Cloud? Why are you dressed like that? And what are you doing here? Never mind. What happened to you after the fall? Are you hurt? Yeah, for all she knows, Cloud was dead. Slow down. Let me answer. I'm dressed like this because there's no other way to get in here. I'm all right, Aerith helped me out, and, <laughs> oh, Aerith did. See, she says that they're just childhood friends, but then she makes comments like that. Tifa, explain what you're doing in a place like this. Yeah, um, um, <clears throat> I'll just plug my ears. Official avalanche business, I'm sure. Corneo. So they found someone in her beat him up? That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought I'd, I'd change it up after a year and new things. Uh, yeah, people come out with new stuff, so I figured I'd. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. I like it. And yeah, I, I messed with the emotes of who gets what. Uh, the fact that everyone has like the extra five follower emotes, I didn't know what to do with that. So that's why I had to definitely buy some. But they were all really cheap. I didn't spend more than... I spent under $30 and got, like, all new badges, its badges, and sub badges, and then, like, a handful of new emotes. Steel. Okay, right, told me uh, to leave the lech alone. Something's been bothering me. Let's see, so you wanted the story straight from Corneo's mouth. Well, I made it here, but now I'm stuck. Corneo's looking for a bride. Every day he gets three girls, chooses one of them, and then, well, 
Anyway, I have to be the girl for tonight. Sorry, but I ever heard. So, Corneo, I'm pretty sure, kills. Like, these girls disappear sometimes. I don't know if all the time, because some of them work at the Honeybee Inn after the fact, but, uh, yeah. If you know the three girls, there's no... <laughs> if you know the three girls, there's no problem, right? I guess so, but we have two here, right? No, Harry, I can't involve you. Oh, so it's all right for Tifa to be in danger. No, I don't want Tifa in. It is all right. I grew up in the slums. I used, I'm used to it. Do you trust me? I don't understand why either would trust each other. They don't. They barely know each other. Yes, thanks, Miss Aries. Call me Aries. <laughs> hey. It's time, ladies. The dawn is waiting. See, we weren't supposed to... He didn't know we wandered down here, and he's totally cool. Like, he's like, hey. <laughs> I told you not to wander around. I tell you, women nowadays. See? There you go. Hurry up, will ya? We are supposed to find his dungeon. I guess I don't need to ask, but the other girl is... Me, right? You're right. You didn't need to ask. See, now they're already fin they're finishing each other's sentences. Look at how Cloud has his head down. He's so ashamed right now. It's funny how they changed the, the way the, the character gives. <laughs> That's so great. Alright, now that we got Tifa, we got a couple other... I think we got her new main hand, main weapon. Yep, we got metal knuckles instead of her leather glove. Upgraded. Don't have any materia. That's... Fine, that's not that big of a deal right now. We'll just have her just auto attack. Uh, however, I do like to mix it up, and we will. Don's waiting in his room. <laughs> this piece of shit. Here we go, guys. Don Horny. Those of you out there that don't know it, Corneo is Spanish for horny. It's spelled the same. And this guy is quite the horn dog, so no coincidence. All right, ladies, Koch, line up in front of the dog. Splendid. Now let's see which girl should I choose? Hmm. Hmm. This one? Hmm. Or this one? Hmm. Hey, Tay, thank you so much, man. Yeah, woohoo. That's cool. That's cool, man. I and I know you started before me, so you're already past your one year. <laughs> Congratulations on yours, too, then, I guess, right? Oh, man. That's cool. That's cool. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, everybody's, everybody's been nice today. I had, an early, I had a really good start early on. Um, I think everyone, I, they had stuff to do. Uh, but that's okay. I'm enjoying the game, and we still got a little bit left of today. Uh, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. My choice for tonight is... He's gonna choose oh he chose Aries. we lost we didn't get chosen and i swear to god it's because we didn't get the earrings you need to get all the items and we didn't get the earrings because that vending machine wasn't working and i don't know why maybe there's some yeah whatever oh well this slender little girl we didn't want to get Aries involved either don you got great taste <laughs> is what Aries said to him <laughs> she's putting herself over that's funny don Cornea, you can have the rest oh these guys so in the in the remake in the remake you have cloud cloud gets chosen and tifa and Aerith are the ones that have to uh let's say clean up clean up the trash shall we go my pretty We've got guests. We'll take real good care of you. <laughs> so this is about to be some criminal acts. It's okay. 
We're well skilled and kicking ass. This is all thanks to the big boss Don Corneo. Hey, three cheers for Don Corneo. Hey, hey, well, ladies, are we all uh, ready? Oh boy, oh boy. Whoa, slow down, what's the hurry? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh god, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh my god, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez, oh jeez. Don't touch me, don't touch me, oh jeez. Oh, item. Phoenix down, not needed. Snickery snickering. These guys are fucking. This is horrible. Alright, ready to kick some ass? I know I am. Something has to happen here. Hey, what's wrong? You want me to keep you company? I'm flattered, but no thanks. Cuz. I. Because? Because. I'm a. Do it. I ain't interested in a bunch of scrubs like you. Does you reveal? I'm a man. What? A man? God damn it. Don't think you'll get out of this. Get him. Beat the fuck out of him. Beat the shit out of him? Beat the shit out of him. Probably beat the shit out of him. Wait, why isn't Tifa helping us? He's with us. want some. Uh, come on, what's the matter with the good for nothings? Alright, come on, I'll show you how it's done. Where is Tifa? That's them. There's just three more. They're they're all they're all wimps. They're all weak. I was expecting one of them to look a little different. A little powered up version. Um, um, um. Oh, I don't want to waste my limit break on him. Let's save it for the dawn. Let's kill this one with fire. The crap, I didn't kill him. That's not good. We're gonna have to heal ourselves after this. So that that third guy was stronger. <laughs> He just looked the same. The plane. I wonder if they're playing. It's Japanese. I want to say it was like, uh, that kind of looked like they were playing, um,. And it's in the Yakuza game that we play. Edit, I forget the name. Oh, here comes Tifa. Tifa. You all right? Of course, if you take me lightly, you're gonna pay for it. Damn straight. All right, cool. All right, let's whoop some ass. Let's save Aerith. Come, don't be so shy. Yes? But, Mr. Don, I'd like to explain something to you first. Of course, my dear. I'll take you through it slowly, step by step. So, come on. Uh, uh, look at those pelvic thrusts. Look at those pelvic thrusts. No, that's not what I meant. No, stop. Just, just wait a second. 
Come on, come on. Oh, I can't wait any longer. Here comes Papa. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> and there's the jump. <laughs> What the hell? Who's there? Uh, there's certain parts, certain things that they, they made sure to include in the remake. Is pounce. Of course, the pounce. Uh, uh, yeah, lots of other stuff, but yeah. The, the little details, they, some of the stuff that's... Sorry, Don. What? Shut up. We're asking the questions now. So she was a lady that took off one dress just to be wearing another kind of dress? And he's like, what? <laughs> what <else? laughs> You're wearing a second dress? <laughs> well, what did your assistants find out? Talk if you don't tell us. Yeah, if you don't tell us, I'll chop it off. They kept that. No, not that. I'll talk, I'll tell you everything. So talk. And he leaned forward too, they kept that. See, there's so many details that they did. They didn't keep. Uh, I made him find out where the man with the gun arm was, but that's what I was ordered to do. By whom? No, if I told you that, I'd be killed. Talk if you don't tell us. I'll, I'll rip it off. <laughs> there he is. Uh, it was Heidegger of Shinra. Heidegger's, ah, uh, no, the head of peace preservation. It's like the head of military. The head of peace preservation? Did you say the Shinra? What are they up to? Talk. Did you say the Shinra instead of just Shinra? That's interesting. If you don't tell us, I'll bite it off. I'll smash it. <laughs> That's what Tifa, yeah. So we got cut it off, rip it off, and Tifa says, I'll smash it. Serious, aren't you? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not fooling around here either, you know. Uh, Shinra's trying to crush a small rebel group called Avalanche and want to infiltrate their hideout. And they're really going to crush them. Literally. By breaking the supports holding up the plate above them. That's where we find out. Break the supports without sending the plate. Yeah, you know what's going to happen. The plate will go ping. And everything's going to go bam. I heard their hideouts in the Sector 7 slums. I'm just glad it's not here in Sector 6. See, like, Corneo knows he's got the end. They're planning on dropping the plate on the slums. They're going to wipe out the Section 7 slums. Cloud, oh, will you come with me to Section 7? Nope. They're about to drop a plate on it. <laughs> of course, Tifa. Alright, we gotta run and warn everyone. Just a second. Shut up. No, wait. It'll only take a second. God damn it, guys. Why do you think scum like me babbled on about the truth? <sighs> because I've given up on life. Because... I'm clueless. No. There's only one reason why the bad guy tell you all the plans. It's because he's sure he's already won. Woohoo. Right. Boink. We got got. The bastard Don Corneo tricked us. We got got. Oh, there's Heidegger. You know, in this one, Heidegger is kind of really fat. Uh, in the remake, they made him very kind of like buff and kind of a badass. They made that other guy really short and fat. He's kind of funny. Maybe that's uh... oh, I don't know actually. No, I don't know. Maybe I'm confusing two people. President Shinra, how are their preparations going? Fighter, <laughs> smoothly, very smoothly. I signed the Turks to do this. Grieve, President. Are we really going to do this? Simply destroy a group with that with only a few members? What's the problem, Reeve? You want out? No. But as head of the Urban Development Department, I have been involved in the building and running a Midgard, that's why. Reeve, flush your personal problems with the rest of your crap. <laughs> the mayor's against this anyway. The mayor's against this anyway, yeah. Mayor? Just sits in this building all day, feeding his face. You still call that a mayor? Now, if you excuse me, sir. Look at that. He's got the fucking uh, Vince McMahon, Conor McGregor walk going on with that. He's cocky as hell. President Shinra, you're tired. Why don't you take a couple days off and go somewhere? Somewhere nice. <laughs> take a load off. Oh, shit. Reeve, 
Reeve gets to go. Yeah, that's good, you know. That's good that Shinra... This is... Okay, spoilies, I'm pretty sure Reeve is, um... Fucking, uh... Kate Sith in disguise, right? He, he uses Kate Sith. So, he's... Reeve, this is explains why Reeve's not in the building when Sephiroth shows up. Because otherwise, that could... You know, you would think that everyone there is dead. And report that Avalanche did it. Then we'll send it in the rescue. Operations Caribbean. <laughs> this is perfect. I want to get that item before we get into a fight. Oh, this is hugging. These guys are horrible. Ocean receive. Uh, you know we have a lot of ether. Let's use it because we are. I'm like pretty sure we're supposed to. We're about to get into a fight. But I think everyone's pretty solid. So let's just let's do it. You all right? Man, this is terrible. Oh shit! You know what? I was probably supposed to help air ether first. You all right? There's this there's this part in the game where you go to the golden saucer and turn it. You end up going on a date with one of the characters in the game. <laughs> it could be Barrett, <laughs> I think. Um, but no. Um, in order to determine who you go on a date with, there's so many things prior to it where that like take tally of your choices, and it will determine. Uh, and uh, something like this, like both of them were down. Who did you go to first? Okay, point one, Airy, negative one, Eva, kind of something like that. That's how they keep count. Uh, I fucked up there too. I, I, it doesn't matter. We're not trying for anything in this playthrough. We're just going through. Here we go. There's this big fucking thing down in the sewers. Yes, they did a really good job in the remake. It looks just like this, but like way better, right? Uh, Alright, let's hit him with Braver early on. Ooh, Tifa's got her limit too. one off from yeah damn damn so close so close it was getting harder when you get the upgraded ones and you have to like get all oh man that's so tough but that's something fun about tifa's limit break it's kind of random but that's also kind of something why she's not the best to have and uh in my original playthrough i found that her limit break was maybe maybe well, that one i don't know they they all get better hers is kind of hard to pull off other people, some like someone like Cloud, you just, you just do it. You don't have to do any gimmick. Ooh, Aerith has her limit now, so and I don't even need to use Cure. I'm pretty sure uh, Healing Wind. There we go.
Oh, Cloud Anti, we got the Loma Breaks again, dude. I don't know what it is. It's going, they, that shit goes up fast. Too fast, right? I don't remember it going up that fast. It's crazy. We literally just used it. I think the higher the limit break, the harder or longer it takes to fill up. But there we go. We didn't even even or annihilate it. Not easy peasy. Honestly, when you know how to play the game, I mean, it's not really, like, hard to what we're doing. But uh, you just got to pay attention to people's health. Use your power attacks when, you, when you're when you facing someone strong. Save your mana and stuff for the for the main fights, and you won't, you'll be able to just zoom through it. Just hit him with everything you got. It's too late. Marlene, Barrett, the people of the slums. Don't give up. Never give up hope. It's not easy to destroy the pillar, right? Yeah, you're right. We still have time. There's never any time. Oh, look. There's some fucking... There's materia right there. It's enemy skill materia. What is this? Seal? Cool. Let's give it to Tifa. She's a quick one. She has the high agility, so if she's gonna... If anyone's gonna be stealing shit, it's probably gonna be her. And she got slot open. This wasn't this trash. I shouldn't have done that. In this game, if there's an item, you'll see the item. Nothing's gonna be... Well, no, I shouldn't say that. I'm pretty sure they might have some hidden stuff here and there. Hyper. They get. Get here. That's what I thought. Uh, jump down. Let's do it. I didn't mean for her to attack him. No good. train graveyard. <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember, like, on... They, they just... Rightfully so, in the remake, they stretched everything out a bunch. You're in the sewers for, like, a couple hours at least. Maybe. And, uh... And then to have to go to the train yard, that the, the graveyard, it's, it's a lot of time. This, it's just real quick. Get through it. Real quick. But they added a lot of story. They gave you a lot more in mid. In this original run uh, a game, Midgar is just this place you start out in, but you really move on fairly quick. In the remake, you really you Midgar is like home for a little bit. Ooh, 
If we can just get past the trains that are lit up, we should be able to get out of here. Nerf, do we have any tents? Oh, no, we don't have any tents. Now, that's a good item to purchase. A bunch of tents. Uh, I'm going to have Aerith heal us, and then... Uh, I'll give her an ether. Hi, Potion. Oh yeah, that's on the ground. That still guides us. Oh, oh, shit, these are the ghosts, guys. Train Greater, that's funny, because I didn't really, like, oh, acknowledge this. Oh, shit, it's one of those. Everyone that gets only hit one. Isn't that paralyzed? Oh, no, that's not good. Oh no, I didn't let him come back before I clicked X. What a waste. What a waste. I thought I was going to have a second to wait before I clicked. No bad. made these guys for like people that are just rushing through the battles like this one they they, they add a bit of uh, strategy you have to you have to have strategy first time it's more than just tapping X sponge like nah you gotta know who you're hitting and fire it entrance there? I think I fucked up. Just to go a different route at first. side as opposed to above yep it's only for that part though god damn 
do have to go above and over. We run out of items before we get out of here and you're really crap in that sense. Hell yeah, we got a yeah. Nice, good bodyguard. Got to heal up. Uh, give him a minute, he'll be fine. I don't know if we're gonna run into anything that's gonna hit 170 in one hit. down on the left hand side I just oh and then I can go around up and around duh all right let's first see if there's anything right here there was so we do want to click stuff that's it I'm, I'm not lost <laughs> I'm not lost I swear Thanks. such a hard time grabbing that. It can go away. I'm gonna waste this ice attack. What a waste of mana. attack right there? I don't have counter. What was that? Oh no, wrong one. There we go. Probably on the next fight we'll help we'll use Ares, uh healing wind. I always like having that in a pocket in my pocket. I love starting battles with uh, the limit limit breaks already handy. 
gives you a good advantage. Gotta be something in that trash can over there. It's so out of the way. It was. Right, so we need to move the way. We need to move that train. We use the healing one here. That's where it came from. Awesome. Hey, it's clearing a path for us. Wonderful. We can get out of this graveyard. I think we need to move to go that one further forward. Back. Ah, uh, I see. And now we are home for almost home free. <laughs> uh, I spoke too soon. These damn ghosts. Yeah, uh, from what I recall, I don't remember us having to face a, a, a boss ghost. Let's hit it again. Now, sure as hell, don't know anything about these ghosts taking children. I don't know about that, but apparently that's something. <laughs> I don't know. them from attacking if you just juggle because they waste their turn by going invisible nice that was a crit or not i think her and uh, cloud are about the same damage Maybe they're just both at that about now. I heard a rumor that the plate was going to fall, crushing the station. I've worked at so many years, but I just can't bear to leave here. Dude, this guy's going to die just because he doesn't want to leave his job. Then when we rush back to the slums to try to warn everyone, as soon as we get there, we notice, oh shit, stuff's already going down. We made it, the pillar's standing. Wait, here's something above us? 
gunfire. That was that wedge just fell. Wedge, you all right? Wow, uh, you remembered my my name. Parrot's up top. Help him. Cloud. Sorry, I wasn't any help. That's his same final basic words for when he gets like pushed outside that sky off that skyscraper in the remake by the ghosts. Oh man. I'm going up. Alright, you look after Wedge. I don't think Wedge is gonna make it. Alright, do me a favor. I have a bar called Seventh Heaven in this neighborhood. There's a little girl named Marlene there. Don't worry, I'll put her somewhere safe. It's dangerous. Everyone get away from the pillar, quickly. Everyone, get out of Sector 7. Alright, so we just lost Aerith. Aerith has exited the team. care what happens to the planet. You're wounded. Thanks, Cloud. Don't worry about me. Barrett's fighting up there. Go help him. Biggs doesn't look like he's gonna make it. Fucking helicopter guys, I hated them. Hated them. We'll use bolt. We'll freaking lightning. Electrocute them all. The remake is way harder because they actually would go out of range and stuff. I don't know if they become out of range at any point. Because look, Tifa's able to just go up and punch them. choose who, she, who uh, she attacks. She chooses who she attacks. Usually I think the weak, the one that has the most health. Okay, he's weak, and once they drop, they're really low on health. Oh, uh, we just learned our new, um, we learned Cloud's next, uh, Limit Break. Cross Slash. So let's equip that real quick. Uh, to unlock Limit Breaks, you have to just use... Keep using your Limit Breaks, you know? Oh no, we... we it's it's the same. Never mind. Cross Slash is a part of level 1, so we get to choose when we actually end the battle. I think now we have to use Cross Slash a handful of times before we unlock the next one. Cloud, I'm glad I could talk with you one last time. Don't say last. That's alright. Because of our actions, many people died. This probably is our punishment. That's fucked up. Doesn't look like Jesse's gonna make it. T 
keep a cloud. Okay. Fair. They're attacking from the helicopter. I know equip yourselves before they attack full force. Alright, let's see if Barrett has any new... Nah, but we need to get some material on this dude. Heal up too. Got lots of potions. Golden. We're golden, let's do this. Let's do this. Here they come. Too late. Once I push this button, that's all, folks. Mission accomplished. Reno, you piece of shit. We have to disarm it. Cloud, Barrett, please. I can't have you do that. No one get in the way of Reno and the Turks. Boss fight. Time to face Reno. Uh, when someone gets pyramid, they need to get uh, broken out of it. Nothing to steal, that's weak. Alright, let's hit him with some magic. Ooh, he's vulnerable to some magic, unless that was a crit. So, I did that, yo. Cloud, here we go, cross slash for the first time. Probably because he has an Electra, that's why he doesn't get hit too bad with the uh, bolt attacks. But ice and fire seem to be hurting him sufficiently well. Did that dude just stop us? Oh, we need to remedy our ourselves. Oh no, he's good. It's time. That was that. Alright, see you later, Reno. Mission accomplished, guys. Easy fight. Easy fight. And he's gone. See what Tifa can do? Oh, I have to go up to Tifa and see what's going on. Cloud, I don't know how to stop this. Try this. It's not a normal time bomb. Oh, saying that's right you'll have a hard time disarming that one it'll blow the second some stupid jerk touches it please stop it <laughs> only a shinner executive can set up or disarm the emergency plate release system look there's Aerith on top right next to him she's knocked out oh, where's Marlene shut your old I wouldn't try that. You might, you just might make me injure our special guest. Oh, Aerith had her head down. I wonder if they like wanted us to not notice her right away. Aerith! Right when she pops her head up, everyone's like, oh my god, that's her. 
Oh, you know each other. How nice you could see each other one last time. You should thank me. What are you going to do with Aerie? Haven't decided. Our orders were to find and catch the last remaining agent. It's taken us a long time, but now I can finally report this to the president. Tifa, don't worry. She's all right. Smack. Oh, snap. Aries. Hurry and get out. So, um, that was Aerith. <laughs> That's so funny. Clearly, they changed that in the remake. Aerith makes a deal with Sang, because Sang's not the worst guy. In this, he's a lot more of a piece of shit. Clearly, he just smacked her because she spoke up. In the remake, she has the chance to say, don't worry, uh, Marlene is somewhere safe. She took her to her mother's, and she's watching over her. Because she made a deal with them that as long as she could get Marlene somewhere safe, that she would go with them willingly. And then they got this, right? They probably did a pretty good job on the remake aspect of it. I think you can escape in time. Oh shit, it's already starting to blow. It's already gonna start to go. Once that plate starts coming down, it'll be too late. We gotta hurry. Oh, Barrett's jumping. You guys remember this? Yes, this is so good. Grab yo, we can use this wire to get out. Everyone jump on. And away we go. What an escape. But look, oh my god, all those people. Every single one of them. Oh my god, see this? This was heartbreaking when I was younger. Seeing that, you knew those people were dead. You don't survive something like that. Like in the remake, god damn. In the remake, they made it all crumble and fall. But in this one, it fell down solid. And broke upon its, 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 its landing. There's a president watching it all happen. All those people die. Even his people. His people were on the plate. They were on the plate working. But he can't spin it if that's... Yeah, that's horrible. God damn it, damn it, damn it all. What the hell's it all for? Uh, hey, Barrett, Barrett. Oh, uh, yeah, Barrett's losing. He just lost. Those were his best friends. Those were his people. He just lost his home. He's scared for his daughter. He thinks his daughter just got crushed to death. Like, this guy is losing it in this moment. Barrett, stop. Please stop, Barrett. He's just fucking... There he goes. Just unloading. Unloading his ammo. So he's angry. Whenever he gets angry, he just starts shooting shit. God damn. Marlene. Barrett? Marlene is... I think Marlene is safe. Huh? Right before they took Harry, she said, don't worry, she's all right. She was probably talking about Marlene. Really? But Diggs, Wedge, Jesse, all three of them were on the pillar. You gotta know that. We all fought, all of us fought together. I don't want to think of them as dead. The other people in Sector 7, this is all screwed up. They destroyed an entire village just to get us killed so many people. He's saying it's our fault, because Avalanche wasn't was here. Innocent people lost their lives because of us. 
No, Tifa. That ain't it. Hell no. It ain't us. It's damn Shinra. Never been nobody but the Shinra. See how they keep calling him the Shinra? Later in, in, uh, in time, they started to uh, just refer to it as, for, refer to him as Shinra. Uh, they're evil and destroying our planet, too. Build their power line, their own damn pockets. If we don't get rid of them, they're going to kill this planet. Our fight ain't none got going to be over until we get rid of them. What don't you know? You don't believe me? Not that. I'm, I'm not sure about me, my feelings. And what about you? Yo. Where does he think he's going? Oh, Aerie. Oh, yeah, that girl. What's up with her? I don't really know, but she's the one I left, Marlene. Damn, Marlene. Gee, but there ain't no turning back now. As she turns back, sees there's nothing, nothing to turn back to now. Well, oh, here they come. So Cloud's rushing, rushing to take me to Marley. Want to help her? Yeah, but for that, there's something I want to know. It's that. It's about the ancients. Big star right here. In my veins courses the blood of the ancients. I am one of the rightful heirs to this planet. Ephroth? You alright? We're together, man. He's having his nightmare, or, you know, having those thoughts. Someone's talking to him. Much rather hand to deal with those things than that hell house. And they're all, everyone's almost leveled up. That's pretty dope. No, oh, it heard me say it heard me say that. Big shot. It's a big shot. Have you hit? Unzo. Two limit breaks in a row. Get out of town. No one. No one's walking away from that. Awesome. So we're on our way to Aerith's mother's house. Um, well, adopted. 
whatever. Uh, Aries' mother's house, and... Let's see if we have a remedy yet to give this guy. Ah. Sniff, sniff. There's... First there was a rumbling, then cracking, and then kerblam. I was so scared, sniff. Finally think you're making a living in the pits of Midgar. And then a big piece of scrap like that falls down here. What's next? Yeah, that's right. But even so, where could we move to now? Never thought that would come tumbling down. Maybe I better walk around looking up from now on. I don't know. She's someone that always looked down, trying to look for what people have dropped. Yeah, it's fucked up. us, man. My dream is to grow up and become a big-time dealer on Wall Market. Shit. I wonder if I was supposed to have taken his money earlier, and I didn't, and then when we get to him this time around, he's like, hey, where's my money? And then we give it back to him, and he gives us something. I fucked up. See? That's what I mean. Turtle Paradise. That's pretty great. That's our first thing on Turtle Paradise. Pens are useful for just, you know, a quick, quick refresh, quick Fill up on everything. Turns out we do need at least. Um... Oh, they got materia. I don't need to double down just yet. Having one of everything is fine for now. We'll end up getting more materia that we'll diverse. And once we get extras, we'll end up uh, spreading it out and more people can have materia. As for now, I don't want to spend the money on it. Let's go talk to Aries' mom. Aries theme. Cloud, wasn't it? It's about Aries, isn't it? Sorry, the Shinra have her. I know. They took her from here. They were here? What Aries wanted. Why is Shinra after Aries? Aries is an ancient, sole survivor, so it is the same way. She went with him. What did you say? But aren't you her mother? Not her real mother. It must have been eight, uh, 15 years ago. During the war, my husband was sent to the front. Some far away place called Wutai. You fee some. Yeah. Uh, one day, I went to the station. I got a letter saying he was coming home on leave. Look. It's bottom left, guys. It's it's fucking Biggs and Jesse just dancing around, having a good grand old time. That's sad. Makes me think that Biggs and Jesse were a couple, but they don't really they don't really sh they don't really talk about that. But that's my that's the impression. <laughs> uh, the wife picked up the man and was swung him around. Just the <laughs> that's funny. Andy's a big guy. Waiting for her husband, never came. My husband, my husband never came back. I wonder if something happened to him. No, I'm sure his leave was just canceled. I went to the station every day. And one day. That's Aries' real mother. 
second to last ancient. I guess we should play that later. You used to see this sort of thing a lot during the war. Her last words were, please, take Aerie somewhere safe. My husband never came back. I had no child. I had no child. I was alone. So I decided to take her home with me. Or she would. I mean, she needed somewhere. She could dedicate her time to protect me. Aerith and I became very close, very quickly. That child loved to talk. She used to talk to me about everything. told me how she escaped from some kind of research laboratory and that her mother had already returned to the planet. So she wasn't lonely. Any other thing. Returned to the planet. I didn't know what she meant. I asked if she meant a star in the sky, but she said it was this planet. She was a mysterious child in many ways. Mom? Please don't cry. Aerith just blurted that out all of a sudden. Yeah, Aerith just blurted that out all of a sudden. Mom, please don't cry. When I asked her if something happened, someone dear to you has just died. His spirit was coming to see you, but he's already returned to the world. Um, at that time, I didn't believe it. But... Several days later, we received a notice saying my husband died. That was it. A lot had happened, but we were happy. Till one day. We want you to return Ari to him. We've been searching for her for a long time. No, never. Ari, you're a very special child. You are a bear. You are of special blood. Your real mother was an ancient. That moment I found out she was new. The ancients will lead us to a land of supreme happiness. Aerith will be able to bring happiness to all those in the slum. That is why Shinra would like to like Aerith's cooperation. He's wrong. I'm not an ancient. I'm not. But Aerith, surely you hear voices sometimes when you're all alone. No, I don't. Hey. But I knew. I knew about her mysterious powers. She tried so hard to hide it, so I acted as though I never noticed. It's amazing how she'd avoided the Shinra for all these years. The Shinra. The Shinra needed her. <clears throat> so I guess she so I guess they wouldn't harm her. But why now? She brought a little girl here with her. Thang found them on their way here. She probably wasn't fast enough to get away. She decided to go to the Shinra in exchange for her the little girl's safety. Marlene? Marlene? Aerith was caught because of Marlene? I'm sorry. Marlene's my daughter. I'm really sorry. You're her father? How in the world could you ever leave a child alone like that? Please don't start with that. I'm always thinking about what happened, or what might happen to Marlene if I... But you gotta understand something. I don't got any answers. I want to be with Marlene, but I gotta fight. If I don't, the planet's gonna die. So I'm gonna keep fighting. But inside, I'm always thinking of it. I just wanna be with her always. See, I'm going in circles now. I think I know what you mean. She's upstairs asleep. Why don't you go and see her? Barrett, he, Barrett's got this greater cause, and he knows that he can't always have Marlene with him. It would put her in danger. It's gotta be away sometime. It's my fault I was the one who got Aerith involved in this. Don't say that, Aerith really doesn't think so. I'm so depressed. Everyone's sad. Aerith got taken away. She'll be okay. See, that's something a little bit different, I believe. I don't think we... S oh, yeah, 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 that's right. That's right. This is right. This is all going according to plan. We should so sleep. Yeah, let's sleep. We're freaking hella bad damaged. So glad. I'm so glad you're alright. Daddy, don't cry. Your whiskers hurt. Oh, 
clap. You're gonna help go help Aerith, right? She's done so much for me. If the Shinra's involved, I ain't staying here. I'm coming too. Guess what? Guess what? Aerith asked me lots of questions, like what kind of person Cloud is. I bet she likes you, Cloud. <laughs> Let's hope so. I won't tell Tifa. Jesus, why do people say that? Jesus, that's bad. <laughs> You're going after Aerith, right? Yeah. Coming with you. We're going right into Shinra headquarters. You gotta be prepared for the worst. I know. Right now, I feel I have to push myself to the If I stayed here, I'd go crazy. Hey, Amber. Sorry, but can you take care of Marlene a little bit longer? Yes, I don't mind. This place is dangerous now. Better go somewhere else. You're right. But promise me that you'll come back to her. Don't get yourself killed. You had a cocktail? What kind? What kind of cocktail? How do we get to the Shinra building? There ain't no train that goes up there anymore. Well, let's go to Walmart. We might be able to find something there. Uh, there'll be a spot to save in Walmart. Save Walmart. Nick's Berry? Ooh, that sounds tasty, man. Yeah. Yeah, I like that stuff. Not this house again. Oh, we gotta surround it now. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of like the taste of alcohol, so I'm I'm all for any sort of fruity, any, anything that can uh, mask the alcohol taste, you know, the alcohol taste. Yeah, yeah, that, that's big, man. Was it like a, like a margarita of sorts? Or like a, uh... Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh shit, see, we all, all right, here's a uh, sense materia, guys. See, they, 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 they place the stuff so we might run right past it. Not us, gotta keep our eyes open. I'm tired of <clears throat> him having cover. Twenty-two ounce steak, hell yeah, man, that sounds tasty. Yes, yes, it's a lot of meat. No, we don't need to stay here. We just, yeah, no. We're uh, let's swing by the Honeybee Inn, see if there's any change to that. I don't think so. Oh, look. Hey, it's you. Sorry, but I already heard about you. In addition to dressing like a woman, it seems like you like smash and grind things. We only let culture customers in. Got it? Then you better leave. <laughs> That's right. All of their- they're rubbing their butts and stuff. We have Barrett with us this time. I don't think it's Barrett that does the trick. I'm pretty sure it's Sid. Someone check though. Yeah, it's, it, I'm pretty sure it's Sid that you have to have with you. Uh, I didn't hear about SmackDown. I don't think so. What about it?
going up to the plate, you better have batteries. You gonna sell me something you just found? Hey, you know... Hey, you knew. I repaired them, so it's alright. <laughs> I need batteries to climb up the plate. You'll find out when you get there. How about 10 or 100 gil for you? Alright, I'll take them. Yeah, it's important that we get the batteries. That was That's key. So we got the batteries, so we can't go up there. Maybe one mithril armlet for someone. A lot. Good though. Cause I, it's, it's, you waste all your gill buying all these different items. Oh, I did see that, Amber. I did see that, and I was like. They better not pull some shit, like, with the whole Miz thing. Why is it okay now, all of a sudden? Like, that's not how the law works. I saw that. I watched that. Yeah. Good, cool for Nakamura, but I feel bad for Apollo. It seems... I guess it was kind of a longer run, but... I'm afraid Apollo might get released soon. I think Apollo's next on that list to get released. They've tried a few things with him that maybe haven't worked out tremendously, and... I think Apollo might get really sad. Uh, Nakamura's awesome. He's cool. Uh, the whole... Me too. I hope not. I like Apollo. I like him a lot. Uh, but yeah, so Corbin. That's not how the law works. And I understand, like, there was even a time that, like... Uh... Oh, it was, it was the same gimmick with John Cena taking the contract and signing his name, stealing it from Finn Balor. It's like, in what world do these guys think, like, these writers think that that's legally binding? That you can just take someone's contract and sign your name on it and that auto automatically means you get every that's not how contracts that's not how it works it would be it would be null and void it's just so stupid um so the fact that baron takes it and they've already done it a few times with uh with the miz taking um uh, otis's and then with like roman stealing like or uh, the cena taking Finn's match from Roman with signing it. I just have a feeling they're gonna try to pull that shit on E, and that's so stupid. It's like, what the hell, man? Just let the guy have his match. Corbin's not that special. Maybe, maybe they'll have this thing where Corbin and E have this rivalry, and E just beats him a bunch and gets the gets his contract back, anyways. Want to see some awesome? Follow me. Wait, before we go there, because this is the right way. I want to go see, I'm pretty sure the doors are locked or he's like not there or something. Goons aren't in there, but like, uh, I want to say Corneo is not in this. Yeah. No one here. Ah, but we did find a hyper. So they, didn't, they don't leave you empty handed if you come back and look. Pretty sure Corneo freaking skipped town after all that. Corbin just a sad ass bum. You got that right. You got that right. They did something else on uh, WWE that I was like, didn't they do this exact same storyline just a few years, like a couple years ago? What was it? They're doing something that they, I swear they just did, and it's like, why are you guys doing it again? Like. And it's with the same person. What is it? Damn, I can't remember. But it was something, and I said to myself, wait, like, they literally just did this not that long ago. WWE reuses stuff way too often. And they're like, oh man, just watch an episode of, of AEW, watch an episode of, of WWE, and you can see such a, di like, such a big difference in creativity. So, I want Owens to become a heel again. Yeah, I love, yeah, Kevin Owens as a heel is the, yeah, he's the best. When he's just psycho, I think that's what he loves the most, too. That's another guy, to be honest. Kevin Owens needs to, they need to release KO so he can go back to being Kevin Steen, kill Steen, kill, and he'll go, and I guarantee AEW would pick up Kevin Owens. Kevin Steen was the biggest freaking 
biggest free agent before WWE NXT snatched him. Man. So this part's this part's really memorable. This this wall with the graffiti, it was so cool. This is the escape. This is how we get out of out of Midgar. And um, it's kind of the same in the this is basically the end of Well, hold on. No, this is how we get to the other area. Never mind, this is different. We're not out yet. We still have to go to uh, Shinra Tower. There's a way up. Look, what's that look like? Just a normal wire. Oh yeah. Well, to me, it looks like a golden, shiny wire of hope. You're right. This is the only way to save him. Or, oh, this is the only way to save Aerie. Okay, that was a bad analogy. But, Barrett, I understand how you feel. Let's go. Music change. Now we're going to save Aerie. Oh man, this is horrible. Hey, scary, huh? Dad told me that it's the Shinra's doing. See, these kids, these young uh, street kids, they had to see what it looked like. That's the difference with this one. Like, honestly, everyone that was in Sector 7 when the plate dropped, dude, they're dead. There's no recovery effort. There's no, hey, let's gather enough people to go try to save people. Like, no, everyone in there is dead. The remake really made the plate falling less less of a big deal to be honest they should have just killed everyone that would that's that's what makes it so dramatic when you saw so many people surviving the, the the falling of the plate i thought i mean again everyone should be dead <laughs> yeah sorry okay hey scary huh it's one of the spots we need the batteries for Oh, I see, I see. It's this to the left. This game can be so tricky sometimes with it, the way it has stuff. Alright, that's one battery. Maybe if I put a battery in. Uh-oh, it's going too fast. timing of this one, I remember this. Ay ay ay. Part sucks. Look, the only way is to jump onto that bar. Shit. Jump too soon. So I want it to come close and then jump so we get it on the swing outward. Sorry that. Oh yeah, second try. <laughs> Biggie came out, Corbin the Evil for fighting Corbin through Biggie and wraps around with the gate. <laughs> he's doing everything he can. He knows he can't win that 1v1, right? So he's like, he's gotta just try to get away. He 
we'll just go down. Yep, still in Midgar. Uh, after, uh... We're, al we're almost out of Midgar. This is the end of Midgar. We have to go right after this. We're on our way to the Shinra building. And, yeah. After, <laughs> after that, that's that. Uh, we get Aerith then we get the hell out of here. scenes right here and then the pan there it is yeah you said oh, banks and bel-air might not happen yeah yeah, yeah I remember because you said they were they missed multiple house shows or dark shows house shows same thing This one building well. Not really, now that I think about it. This is the first time I've ever been to the headquarters. I heard about this place before. Every floor above the 60th is special and not easy to get to, even for employees. Must be where they took Eric. The security's pretty tight, pretty light now. Alright, let's go. Wait a second. You're not thinking of just going right through the main entrance, are you? Well, what else does it look like? I gotta kick some shit in butt in. That's not going to work. You got to find another way. Belair's on SmackDown and is talking, right? What is, is it like? Is it about the map? Ain't gonna be no other way. You waste time like this, Aries. Do you think that it was just a rumor then? I don't know. I hear so much. I remember. I don't really read stuff at all anymore or even bother me. But uh, I used to remember. Just, yeah. There, the wrestling world has so many rumors. People are always just trying to get try to get the buzz, but I, w I wonder, because that's a big match, and I, I don't know, I know that, uh, but if we get caught here, what should we do, hey Cloud, what should we do, just, uh, sneaking quietly, quietly, see, let's be careful and find a different route, it doesn't matter which way we go, I think we go to the left, but, but, um, I think this is a good part to stop, I know I wanted to get through Midgar today, which I easily could in another hour or so, but I'm kind of hungry and ready to chill. On Monday, we'll pick up on this. We'll finish uh, finish Midgar. We're going to get out exploring the world. We'll go to Calm and then go and explore all the different cities. And oh, hell, I don't know. Maybe we'll get another character unlocked by the end of Monday. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been a real fun one. It's been a wonderful day. I was so happy for everyone to show up. It, it was real nice. All the gifts. I, it's, it's been a great day. I really I really appreciate everyone. Um, yeah, I, I, you, we're just going to pick it back up on Monday. Everything is just going as it's going. You know? so, uh, as for now, you know, in Knox and Shots here in the championship tournament against the tag team. Uh, the, dude, I honestly think they'll probably beat Tamina and, and Natalia. I, I don't know. I feel like Knox and Shot, Shotzi are like the new... They're going to be the new cool tag team, the new youngins that are dominant. And they might just take it right away, which is pretty rough, but we'll see. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, uh, Amber. Thanks for hanging out. Now, I, uh, I'll be back on Monday, and I hope everyone has a good weekend. Anyone out there lurking or 